I'm the best CEO. I know I started off the previous Hermitcraft episode with this statement, but I feel like it needs to be said again. I mean, look at me, in the previous Hermitcraft episode, I actually took over Gruyan's job and made the best meeting room ever that, according to my YouTube comments, would have cost many billions of dollars <laughs> due to all of the quartz that I used, which is pretty interesting. I also managed to kill Pearl in probably one of my favorite ways I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, everything about that was just perfect. And, like, she'd launched herself fully horizontally across the bottom hole and then just dropped out of the world. And the subsequent killing of the skeleton was equally hilarious. Honestly, I think I'm on track for the most not kills of any player in Minecraft history. But now we have incredibly important business to attend to, which is why I'm in the incredibly important business section of this meeting room. This is where all of the important business <laughs> is going to get done. It is mildly distracting. I'm, I'm kind of struggling to formulate my thoughts here. To be quite frankly honest with you, I'm going to try my best to push on. You see that big gaping hole behind me? Well, that's going to have my head in it. In fact, this this is actually a pretty good representation of what it's going to look like. A, a bit like that. It's, it's just going to have my face right there. Just just big. I have to get off these minecarts. It's hurting my head. So the mumbo potato face is going to be going right here. But it's not just going to be a pretty face. It's going to be a functional face. You see, I have a bit of a reputation for missing meetings, and you can't miss a meeting if you are the meeting. By installing myself into the meeting room, I can never be accused of missing a meeting again. So my idea is I'm going to have like a Wizard of Oz mode where I can submit answers that this thing gives out to the members that are currently present in the meeting is also going to have a mode that I can activate when I'm not present, and it will just spit out answers that hopefully makes sense. And what I think is absolutely beautiful about this system is that obviously it's not going to be as good as me because nothing is as good as me. So that means that when I occasionally do turn up to meetings and we're not relying on the potato of Oz, the members of Bowton will probably appreciate me more and actually think of me as being a good CEO because I've, I've heard I've heard that even though I'm, I'm trying my best and I think I'm doing a great job, some people don't think I'm doing a good job. This idea is absolutely flawless. First things first, I need to work out my block palette. And funnily enough, I actually styled this room on the skin of a potato. As you can see, I can pretty much blend in. This is like my camouflage. So we're going to need yellow terracotta, a little bit of this stripped oak. I think that's stripped oak. A bit of stripped birch action and also just some, some gaps in it. So it looks like one of those proper, you know, it's a potato that's really... It's a weathered potato. I've never thought so much about potatoes in my life. I also slightly object to being referred to as a weathered potato. Anyway, this is always a pretty solid start. Already, this looks kind of like me. I hadn't realised that these... <laughs> they sort of look like eyes. And this is just an immediately incredibly sneaky moustache. <laughs> Why do I feel like I don't trust this guy? Well, I actually think this thing might be slightly more terrifying looking. But we're going to be rolling with it anyway. I hate to say it, I think it's about to get worse. I think it's about to get even worse. And... Wow. We, <laughs> we might need to rethink. Okay, a lot of rethink. All of the rethink. I have rethunk everything. I don't even know what thinking is anymore. If you can think it, I thunk it, and I've rethunk it, and now I'm thinking it again. And now I, I don't even think that thunk is a word. Oh, I think I need to lie down. Right, I've recomposed myself, and now we can take a look at what I've created, because you know what, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's just gradually make our way around. Here he is! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> oh, oh, he's got little legs. He's got his little feet up. <laughs> you know, he got a tiny tie. And look, this is the most important thing, profits. He's holding the profits. These are the two diamonds that are left in Bottom now that I've built up this meeting room. I, I gotta say, I went through quite a few phases with this build here. You know, it started off absolutely terrifying, the stuff of nightmares, and then it went through just an incredibly derpy phase, and now it's in the kind of adorable, almost childlike innocence phase. And I'm all for the childlike innocence phase. This is, this is excellent. This is absolutely excellent. I just want to make it very clear that these arms right here, these are not an accurate representation of my arms because I am, of course, incredibly buff. But outside of that small, minor detail, this, this is everything that I could possibly have imagined and hoped that it would be, and then some. I mean, look, he's got a little bit of a potato blush going on. I think it's safe to say that this guy right here is one sweet potato. <laughs> I'll see myself out. So now that the build is all complete, it's now time to actually add all of the redstone to actually make it functional because it can't just sit here and do nothing. Even if most CEOs just sit there and do nothing. So let's have a think. Firstly, 
We need to work out how we're actually going to deliver the messages from this guy right here to the hermits that are going to be sat in minecarts bouncing over the top of the bottom hole. Not easy. Not easy at all. But I'm a smart man. A smart man who clearly has way too much time on his hands. I spent way too long working this out. I'm just going to give you one demonstration just to whet your appetite. Just so you can see what we're working with here. Oh, it's getting late. The weird noises are coming out. As you can see here, I've created something. I, I mean, a zebra worm. I tried to think of something funny to say, but then just didn't. And then oh, it's getting more embarrassing the more I talk. It's not even that late. It's ten past seven. I have no excuse. Anyway, this is this is how far the things need to be from one another. So let's get it built. Can't wait to mess this one up and bash my head against the desk. The first challenge is trying to work out how on earth I'm going to wire in this slime block launcher around the other redstone for the slime block launchers. This is one of those frustrating things that requires a really simple solution that my brain won't provide. But thankfully, after a lot of messing around, I managed to come up with a pretty ingenious solution. And I'm not going to explain too much because it's pretty boring and also difficult to explain. And now all of the other locations are all in place, like where things need to be. But the frustrating thing about this is the only way that I can know if it's actually in the correct place is by building the entire thing and then testing it. And obviously, if it doesn't land on the platform, then it's in the wrong place. But I, I think all my measurements are correct. I mean, there's a slime block launcher there. There's the mouth opening there. And then over there is where the other slime block launcher is going to go. So I've got the redstone set up for the first part of this. So here comes the moment of truth. We should see it fly through the mouth. And <laughs> it did. It actually did. And I guess if it's all in time, it should just be on the other side of the room. Because I haven't actually set up a platform yet. Should be somewhere... Somewhere? Oh, these are... Oh, this is stuck. Alright, let's try again. I I'm not going to lose faith just yet. I might be about to lose faith. I don't know what just happened there. Now, what I'm hoping is that was just a visual glitch, but I hate to say it, I... I cannot find any evidence that that piece of stone even entered this room. Unless this launcher is firing up too high and it's hitting the... No, it's not on the next level, is it? It's... it's not! What is happening to all... what's happening to our stone? Yes, I have replaced a block and our stone is landing in the correct place. It's actually... Oh, it looks like it's actually hitting that part of the ceiling. That actually could be good. That would mean that we wouldn't need anything in the center of the bottom hole, which means the bottom hole would continue to be incredibly deadly. And I am definitely one who wishes to preserve the deadliness of the bottom hole, so I think we should go with this. I've now created a little platform here that is clearly signposted thoughts of the CEO in brackets mumbo so that nobody forgets. And anyone who is in either one of these two minecarts right here will be able to pick up my thoughts and read them out to the group. And of course there is every chance that someone will be flying past just as my thought it is flying past and they'll be able to pick it up in the air which would be an absolutely glorious moment now there is one element of redstone that i hadn't thought of which is the mouth you see well the, the block doesn't fly through these obviously it's honestly a little bit concerning that i didn't see this coming so we have to hook up a little redstone contraption that opens up the mouth at the perfect time for the item to fly through and then closes up behind it so that this thing still looks good. And I was going to do this making use of a flush trapdoor. So this stair would be pulled backwards and then pulled across like that. But I've just thought of something that could look absolutely hilarious. And I'm, I'm really hoping that I can pull this off. So if we have a pair of pistons above our mouth behind the moustache here. That can push our mouth downwards and also the chin downwards. And then the chin will actually come in contact with the little suit down at the bottom here. And we can use the suit to push everything back upwards. I, th I think that'll work. So I have the first piece of redstone in place and this whole system is just, it's disgusting. But it looks like it worked. I wasn't actually looking in the correct position, but it looks like it worked. And then this should be the next piece of redstone. This is literally the ugliest thing I've ever created ever. But now that should give us the full mouth open and mouth close. Pretty sweet. Time to get someone over to test it. You still working on this or what's going on? Yeah, I'm doing some more tested it. The, this thing is uh, getting out of hand. Okay, I am- Oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? 
That was smooth as butter, right? That was not. This is, that's Suck not meant to be the dangerous part. Like all the rest of everything else that's going on in here is meant to be the dangerous part. You're not meant to struggle getting into it. I suppose that's true. But uh, hey, I'm not as worried this time. I all those levels I told you about last time we met. They, yeah, they're all gone now. Oh Creeper really? What happened? Me. Yeah, I got a creeper sneak attack. You know. Oh. Yeah, it was a good one. That's 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 bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, hello, yep. Uh, I, I, I'm There's two of me now. By this on the wall. What is happening? Yep, this, this is this is this is me. I've just got I've got I've got something <laughs> kind of minor that I, I want to test with it, but it's kind of tricky for me to, to test it because what I'm gonna do, like, I'll I'll activate this thing. If you stand there, okay, well okay. not not necessarily there because you might pick up the item, but I'm just I want to know okay, if this I'll... is working properly. So here's the thing: I, I need to activate it and see if it actually works. Okay. Is it? Oh, oh, so, oh! There it went. Yeah. As it, it's, okay. Has the item landed in the thoughts jar? It, it did. It did. Oh, nice. Um, it, All right. That's pretty this, fancy. This, there's no. These the, are your thoughts. Well, there's it's no. Just, um, yeah, there's no thought at the minute. It's it's, it's pure. It's, it's, Great. <laughs> it's not quite as exciting as the minecart test, I must admit. Like, there's no risk of dying or anything, but it would just... It would... Oh, I'll find a way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is actually a bit precarious down here. You kind of have to go down here and then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this this okay. here. This here is the button. So just when I say uh, it... I, I just want to just wanna see if this actually works and okay. how silly it looks. Right. You, you, I, you're cleared hot. You can go whenever you want. Okay, uh, count me in. We gotta do a countdown, you know? All right, Probably. okay, okay. What from? 20? 50? I have a 75. 75? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long video. It's gonna get a lot of ad revenue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll go with three. All right. Three, two, one, go. Here it goes, I think. Hey, that's Did pretty good. Did, hey, did that is happen? actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, that worked. And the mouth looks pretty hilarious as well. This is good. Right. Well, I think it's safe to call that one a success. Now it's time for an incredibly important step, which is to make this redstone contraption look a lot more complicated than it is. And that involves redstone on wool. Redstone on wool is one of those things that is genuinely useful. Color coding redstone lines actually helps you build up redstone contraptions, but it also has the added effect of making it look like the redstone contraption is far more complicated than it actually is. You see, I want to make sure that if one of the members of Botum actually has a poke around out the back of this thing, they actually think I've created an incredibly intelligent replacement for myself and not just essentially a slime block item launcher. I know Impulse has seen behind the curtain a tiny bit, but he doesn't know where the answers are going to be coming from. <laughs> I almost crafted jukeboxes instead of note blocks. That was close. Now, the reason that I'm crafting up the note blocks is because I want this thing to play a little tune every single time it gives it its advice or makes an addition to the meeting. And as I'm sure all of you know, I'm the least musical person ever. So this, this could be horrible. But if I hit this button down here, we should be able to hear it. That is actually, that's pretty good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That does not happen very often, especially when it comes to musical things. Anyway, everything is going to plan. We've got all of the decoy redstone, which is making this thing look a little bit more complicated than it is. The actual launcher is working. Everything, everything seems to be working. I don't really know what to say. Ah, well, things could be about to go south. If there's a man that can break things, it's definitely him. So our actual potato, our, our potato of Oz, Russet of Oz, Wizard of Spuds, forgetting the name, it's done. All right, so now we move on to the redstone. Now just to quickly recap, this thing needs to have two different modes. It needs to have a fully automatic mode so that when I'm missing a meeting, nobody notices that I'm missing a meeting. And it also has to have a mode where I give my thoughts and then they are sent out through the medium of the potato face. And remember, the key here is to make them slightly worse than real me. We shouldn't be too hard because I'm awesome. In a few weeks time when I return to Botum meetings in person and we're not relying on Mr. Potato Face over here, all of the members of Botum will be so happy to see me. They'll be, they'll be throwing celebration parties. They'll be talking about how great I am as a CEO, how good it is to have me back. 
absence makes the heart grow stronger and all of that. I will be praised. I will be loved. We will ride off into the sunset on the boat and private jet, laughing, giggling, sharing popcorn, and everything, everything will be excellent. Which reminds me, I actually want to make sure that I differentiate between this thing right here and me. So I'm changing the signs on this little platform to say thoughts of Mumbo Tato instead of thoughts of CEO in brackets Mumbo. I think that makes things clearer. Look. All of this talk of Wizard of Oz is maybe want to build things in green, so that's what I'm doing. No one is going to see this room except for me, so I'm just going completely wild with it. Absolutely perfect. I do feel like I'm inside a creeper's brain right now, but you know what? That's, that's a vibe. Okay, so all we need to do is send a signal from this redstone machine, the redstone clock, the actual meeting room itself, up into this brain center over here, letting us know that the meeting has started. That will then activate a redstone lamp in there so that if I'm doing it manually, I know that I can start sending in submissions and things. But then if I'm not doing it manually, then that has to activate the little idea submitter that will submit the ideas down into some form of water stream, which will then go through into this and then be sent up into the meeting room. So we need a redstone line going up. We need some toggles and redstone clocks and things up at the top there. And then we need some form of item transportation device to take the items into this area here. Okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. Now, one thing that I really want to do is I'm going to make sure that all of this is fully covered up so that it doesn't actually look like a water stream. You wouldn't be able to tell that it's a water stream. So if they do inspect this area back here, they don't realize that all of the ideas are actually coming over from this, this space here. And then if I'm smart, after I've done all of the redstone back here, I can block this whole area up and then just run a straight redstone line out of it and it will look like another random piece of redstone a little bit like this. It's a flawless strategy. They're never gonna know what's going on. Unless, of course, you tell them. But if you do, you will be doomed to have smelly armpits for the rest of your days. So this is my ideas chest. If I put an item on the inside of here, Good. Yeah, let's try that one again. If I put an item on the inside of here, it should be transferred across into the system and make its way out of here. <laughs> nice. I lost. I lost hope. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but it actually works. Okay. So now this redstone pulse extender extends out the pulse from the redstone clock that is attached to the slime block launchers, which means that we constantly have a redstone output while those slime block launchers are in use, which essentially translates to we know when there's a meeting going on. Oh, oh my goodness. I just blew up. <laughs> I got blown up by a creeper inside of what looks like a creeper. Ah, oh, that is that is suboptimal, that. That is suboptimal. Oh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Yes. Yes, I landed on the slime block. What a win. Well, this is painful. Oh, this is painful. My stuff is just over there. Thankfully, I managed to get all of my stuff back. And most importantly, I managed to not get Pearl to help me, which would have foiled my entire plan. Pearl is dangerously nice sometimes. So we have the ideas chest. We have the redstone lamp indicator. Now it's time for the automator, which has now been added in. This is looking way more complicated than it actually is. There's not actually that much redstone in here. It just looks crazy. Remember what I said earlier on about redstone on top of wool? Redstone on top of wool. But I think I have everything. So when this lever is switched on, then that means it is in manual mode when this lever is switched off. Then that means it is now in automatic mode. So I don't have to be here. It will just be giving responses to things that hopefully come up in the meeting. Or it could just be talking complete nonsense, which is the most likely thing. But I'm going to make all of the automatic responses as general as they possibly can be. Uh, this chest right here is where I'm going to put in my manual responses. This redstone lamp indicates that the meeting is actually on and the minecarts are bouncing around. And then this chest and this anvil is for putting in my custom responses. And of course, all of the responses are going to be on potatoes. So I have a few little pre-programmed ones that I've added into the system. They're ready to go. I even have a meeting greeting which activates when the minecarts are activated. That should be a pretty nice detail that will really sell this thing as being more intelligent than it is. And of course, I have a whole stash of potatoes ready for renaming when I need to. I think it's safe to consider this done and dusted. All of the holes have been plugged up. Everything has been cleaned. All of my chests have been removed. 
This thing is now looking very, very complete and very finished. The minecarts are in all of their correct locations, so this thing is ready to go. The thoughts of the mumbo Tato platform is looking gorgeous. And look at me, I've even included a little chest that explains what to do if everything breaks. This is like really complete. By my standards, normally it doesn't reach this level of completeness. Normally I give up with like the last two or three percent. So I think it's safe to say that I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this thing and I think the other members of Botum are going to be chuffed to bits as well. I am very, very excited for the next meeting. Whether I'm here or not, I am always here. What an absolute win. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server. It's been a ton of fun to create. I've loved working on all the redstone contraptions and working on this area down at the bottom here. And I will catch you in the next Hermitcraft episode. See ya!